Hi everyone, my name is Abby and welcome today. We are in the beautiful Citizen M Hotel in London Tower Bridge. We are staying here because I had a doctor's appointment yesterday and a doctor's appointment today and we decided to stay overnight and have a nice evening in London. So I'm going to show you around this hotel room. It is an accessible room, the only type of room they actually do are double rooms. We decided to do an accessible one for me. I'm going to give you a little tour, so let's see what we did. So first of all, as you come in, the door is right here. The bed mine, the suitcase is here. We, you've got a nice little hanging rail with two shelves above it and then you've also got a nice safe which is very easy to read. I like it actually there, it makes a lot more sense to have it there than like in a cupboard. As you come along here, there's this drawer, I can't actually open it. And then you've got some more storage, another shelf up here. These are kind of hard to reach if you don't have long arms. There are always these ones. And then you've got some more shelves here, you've got some lovely tissues, a hairdryer, and in here you've got a mini fridge. Nothing actually comes in the mini fridge. It's just empty, but if you need to store medication or some drinks, you can do that, nice and easy. You've got some hooks here. We've put our, our wet towels on them, but then again, just you could put whatever you wanted on them. Coming through into the main room, we've got a bin. There's a nice chair here so you could transfer onto it if you want to do some work or anything like that. But also, you can pull the chair away and as a manual wheelchair user, you could slide right underneath it and do some work. There's a phone here which you can call any room in the hotel. We've got a little lamp. We've got some different types of sockets. I think that might be EU, American and British and then a USB as well. You can turn the light off and on with switch. You've got a really nice big TV here which is actually really good and I'll show you in a minute why it's my favourite thing. You've got this table, it's kind of in the way if you're a wheelchair user but uh, if you are a wheelchair user you're probably not going to be able to get to that side of the bed anyway. Then obviously on this side of the bed you've got loads of room but I'll show you that in a minute. You've got a nice big sofa here which is actually really comfy and then this is the view from our room. You've got the shard over there and then you've also got this really nice old building and then up there you've got the walkie talkie. The Shard and the walkie talkie both have really nice restaurants at the top of them. Um, but there is also lovely restaurants down there. There's a Starbucks, there's a prep. There's loads of different restaurants you can go to around here. Now coming to the bed, you have a bedside table over there. Again, it has a switch by and a UK plug socket. This is a king size bed, so it's really big and it works really well. So on this side, you have a UK plug socket down here. You also have two USBs. One of the USBs is plugged into this, which is the iPad. Now the iPad controls pretty much everything in your room. You can control the color of your door. I'm going to show you the color as I change it. Picking up the color. You can then also do the lights on and off in the room. You can put the blinds up and down. As I press it, you'll see that they will go down. And that works the same for blackout blinds. Um, it was really dark in here that, last night, so that was really good. And you can also control the blinds through a physical switch and the curtains. Also an emergency cord right here. So if you do get in trouble, someone can help you. You can also control the climate in here. So the lowest it will actually go is 18, but then you can also just go up as far as you want. You can also set yourself an alarm on here, which is really handy. You can order food and drinks through here to the room. You can also look at menus for the bar upstairs. View from the rooftop bar, you've got Tower Bridge over there. You've got the Shard over there. You've got the walkie-talkie here. And then you've got the Dirk over there. So it's a pretty cool thing. The bar is absolutely beautiful. You can also turn on your TV from here and you could also connect your YouTube, your Spotify, your Netflix, your Prime, your Disney Plus. Finally, the bathroom. Nice big door, which you can come into. Roll in, easy. First thing I notice is you've got a bin down here. You've also got a nice sink which you can get under and a mirror, which is a really great height. You've got a shaver socket. You've got another pool cord, you've got two glasses if you need them. You've got a nice toilet which has nice supportive grab rails. You've got plenty of towels, they're really big towels, we've obviously used them but they're really big nice towels. And then you've got a lovely big shower in here which works really well. You've got a grab rail here which comes down. The also thing I noticed is you have a grab rail here, so you have lots of points of contact. This can also fold up as the seat, so someone who wants to use it who's not sort of sitting can use it. Hand shower is actually here so it's really easy to reach. It's an amazing place because you can keep your toiletries on top of this little shelf and it works really, really well. And there's also a nice big shower head up there. And you've got two, uh, two parts of shampoo, one for the evening, one for the morning. I'm not sure where that is. And then you've got a nice pool cord here. So that is the end of my room tour. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it. If you are coming to stay in the Citizen M as a wheelchair user, definitely get an accessible room. They're really nice. I actually think it was really good value for what it is. Please, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one.